How's that? How's that? What about that? And this? Hello everybody, it's Mama Shara here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. If you guys can not tell, I'm in a totally different background again for like the hundred billionth time. Uh, I don't know how you guys liking this different background. It is my room, obviously, and my, me and my girlfriend's room. And it's just a different look. I, I just feel like it's better sometimes to just change it up a lot. A little too much, maybe. But, you know, just trying to serve up different stuff, you know. Find something that maybe you guys like and, you know, just let me know what kind of background you guys like the most. Maybe in the comment section below. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about everything that has to do with my updates. Especially when it comes to my uh, facial feminization surgery so i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've uh, been going through a little bit of uh, pain lately i have uh the other day i lifted up my girlfriend and her being just taller than me and, and weighing a little more than me i and me being out of shape completely uh i did i strained myself and i think that i gave myself a hernia because the same night i um i sat down in a weird position and i just felt a sharp pain and since then it's been like inconsistently sharp pains but it's like in the same area and it's just yeah. and it's just really really um bad so i uh decided to take the, the the situation and take it to the er last night and we stayed at the er for like eight hours i got my urine taken i got my blood taken the urine came out normal and the blood i don't know what happened to it um unfortunately i didn't stay over there the whole time because i decided it was time to just go i wasn't gonna stay there any longer the lady had told me that one person actually had to wait 15 plus hours and it was 3 p.m uh, it was 8 p.m until 3 a.m and we were still there and i was still waiting and it felt like everyone had gone before me so i was like uh this is just not so good you know this is taking forever and so i decided to cut it off and i decided to <laughs> cut it off no pun intended but i decided to cut it off and i uh, decided to call up my doctor the very next day my main doctor and get an appointment going so we can see the results and so we can schedule a cat scan to see what happened and see if if it's a hernia or whatever it is you know i'm hoping it's nothing bad i'm just i get very scared if you guys don't know my mom passed away from stomach cancer at a young age 28 years old and I get really scared of cancer because it just takes people away like it's nobody's business. And I know a lot of people probably feel this way about cancer, but the whole subject is hard for me to swallow. It's hard for me to think about cancer. It's hard for me to talk about it. It's hard for me to sit there and listen about it. It is very hard for me because it just, it, it reminds me of just people's ends, you know, people not making it. And it's some to some people's a death sentence. So it's very scary to me. So basically... Uh, that happened and so I'll let you guys know on the updates of what is going on there But on a lighter note on a much better note, actually uh, I went to actually got in contact with my with Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Mexico uh, The company that's in care of my insurance apparently still have them because of the pandemic uh, Which is a very good sign and I decided you know I was gonna get off my rusty dusty uh, and I was gonna talk to them and I talked to them and they gave me all kinds of information in fact this lady that talked to me her name was Bernice Shout out to you if you're watching this video, if you ever do. Um, she was an awesome, awesome, awesome lady to talk to. She gave me all the rundown of what I needed to do. So tomorrow when I go see my doctor about my CAT scan and stuff like that, I'm also going to talk to him about getting my surgery taken care of so we can get going on the FFS. And it's for FFS, for all you guys that want to know. Uh, I This entire time that I've had a problem with all this stuff is because of the fact that um, I never really had a good direction of where I was going with this surgery and how it was going to, or how to even contact, you know, bring all this stuff together. I did it for the breast augmentation, but it was easier because the breast augmentation was covered in the same city that I live in. So it's going to be different because this, the surgery I'm getting it done and is Alexander Sinclair all the way up in Los Angeles. So it's going to be a totally different place. It's way out of, uh, coverage for my insurance but there are ways around that where they'll take care of it. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that within time we could get something going because I am in desperate need of getting a surgery now. I'm 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 craving I'm craving my dysphoria in my face is craving change. It's craving please feminize me. Please feminize me. And a lot of people give me this 
oh, you don't need to get anything done in your face and you don't need anything like that. And you know, it's not like I crave getting surgeries because they change someone, but it's the fact that when you get a surgery, it's like peeling off a part of you that wasn't meant to be there and unraveling something that was supposed to be there. I think that's one of the most craziest things about surgeries for me is that that's what I want to see out of a surgery like that. I want to see the face I was supposed to have, you know, and it's not going to be exactly like the face I was supposed to have because obviously, you know, there's just things that you can't reverse. This dog, I swear to God. But with that being said, I just want to let you guys know about all those bro but with that being said with all of those things that was going on i am just happy that i'm able to like push forward when it comes to talking to my doctor tomorrow i'm glad everything's gonna be coming together tomorrow which is why i might do a live stream and let you guys know what's going on through live streams so if you guys haven't uh, no if you guys don't know about my live streams put on the notification bell so you guys can be notified when i go live on youtube because i go live on youtube now more often than i ever have been i ever have been in a while so please just put the notification on. I know a lot of people don't have their notification bells on and that's fine if you don't want to have it on. If you don't want to, it's fine. But for those of you that do want to watch my live streams and want to be notified, that light, that bell is really essential to, to press. Uh, also, if you guys really want to keep up to date with everything that goes on and when things are going to happen, please follow my Instagram and Snapchat. Those are the two biggest social medias that I'm on and you get some on-time you know, notifications you know, up to date stuff on that stuff, you know, especially Snapchat. So if I were you guys, I'd follow those and just become a part of the Charlotte Tears. Let's let's make this thing a thing. You know what I mean? Um another big thing that's gonna happen is I'm actually gonna start publishing a new book. A new book called Mystica. It was a book that I created back in twenty eighteen. It's been done for a while, but it hasn't been I haven't revised it to the point where I feel like it's perfect to go out to the publishers. Um, obviously I don't publish books myself, so, uh, I usually have an, a publisher do it for me. The thing about that is, is that I have to get an approval about the book. The book can't just go through a publishing company and not get approved and, and just get published. It has to get approved by the company. It has to be approved that they want to work with it. That's another thing. I, I mean, there's a lot of big things coming to the channel and big things coming to my brands, just me in general. So I really know that since I have a lot more supporters and fans now, Maybe we could get more people to buy the next book that comes out because my biggest goal on in, on YouTube is not just YouTube, it's to be an author, like a, a best-selling author. I think those are the two biggest goals I've ever had in my life. I'm very, you know, that and streaming, obviously being a streamer, but that goes along the line of YouTube in a way because as soon, if you're big on YouTube, you could get big on, on, on Twitch as well. It's usually how it works. People will go from like one platform to another for you. It's It's very like tied up together. But those, a social media influencer, I guess that could be like all those things in the umbrella term, and then be a, a best-selling author. I think that's what, two of my biggest goals. And I know that the, all things are possible through you guys. You guys are my family. You guys are my fans. You guys are there to support me and to show others who I am and who this family is. And you guys are the Charlotte Tears. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. I know it's not like a term that everybody uses on my channel. It's not like people like call themselves Charlotte Tears everywhere they go. Um, I'm sure they don't. It's like a small thing right now, but you know there are gonna be a days. There's gonna be a day where there's gonna be people saying I'm I'm a Charlotte Tear. I'm a Charlotte Tear. I'm a Charlotte Tear. You know what I mean? So to me, that's very special. And for everything that's gonna be coming in the future, I really want us to come together as a family. And support the videos, support the channel, support the live streams, and support everything that's going on because it's content and it's gonna it's gonna get somewhere. Trust me, guys. We're going places, we're doing things, but you guys need to hop on board now as it's going on. So, um, but yeah. With that being said, guys, that's what's going on in my life right now. I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Updates, live updates off you guys uh, for you guys. Um, just letting you guys know that things are going and hopefully they go faster and hopefully you know. All the stuff that sets us back are minor setbacks. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave it a like. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Come show what you say. Y'all know what it is. And if you guys can destroy the notification bell every time I go live on YouTube, upload to YouTube, you guys will be notified. Please do that. Please do that. And also uh, follow my social media links down below if you guys want to follow me and all my other stuff. And also OnlyFans 18 plus or older, $5 down below, exclusive amount of time. And also... 
also. If you guys want to support me even further, buy, buy my book, Apple Mia. That's down in the description below as well on Amazon or Barnes Noble or Kobo. I love you guys lots like Terror Tots. I'm Mama Shar and you guys are my Shar Tears. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.